If you want any Ultimate Team coins to buy all those players you want, check out MuleFactory.com. They now cover the 5% EA tax, have super safe comfort and player card trades so you won't get banned. Also, make sure you use my discount code IHAS5 when you do check out to get a discount. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video and Happy New Year is the first day of 2018. Hope you had a good New Year's. I had a good night. My throat... It's, it's, it's not the best, but we're still making the video, so daily uploads back, kicking off 2018. This year, I don't know, I'm going to think on YouTube, the aim will be to try and finish the year with 200,000 subscribers. We're quite a way off that, but I'm going to grind out this year, and hopefully we can hit that by the end of the year. Drop a comment down below, I don't know, predict how many subscribers I'll have at the end of the year, and look back in a year's time and we can see if any of you guys were right. So this video is about team of the year on FIFA 18 and the team of the year has already been confirmed and we should be seeing it in a week's time. So next Monday we should be seeing the team of the year out in packs. So this on screen is the confirmed team of the year. If you did not know the FIFA Pro World event happened I think it was around like September October time last year but this is the team of the year squad we will be getting on ultimate team so in goal worth before the defense is Danny Alves, Benucci, Ramos, Marcelo in the middle is Modric, Cruz, Iniesta and up top is Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar so let me know if you haven't seen this team of the year or if you already have any players you would swap out of the team personally I'm not sure why Iniesta's in there, to be honest. He's always in Team of the Year, but I don't think he deserves to be in it this year. But let me know down below what players you would swap out or what players do you think should have been in the Team of the Year, but they haven't been in there. Also, if you're wondering what sort of stats would these Team of the Year players have, here is an image of the FIFA 17 Team of the Year. So we had a 98 Neuer in the defense as well, 93 Alves, 93 Marcelo. We had a, 90, a 94 PK and a 96 Ramos. So you can sort of base the ratings off what we already had so they'll be around this i reckon buffon probably won't be a 98 rated he'll probably be like a 97 or a 96 ramos 96 again probably and then the front three messi ronaldo and neymar i reckon again it'll be 99 ronaldo 98 messi and 98 neymar something like that and then of course the midfield they'll probably be basically the same cards this year so going off last year and the previous team of the year releases usually is like the second week of the new year, second week of January. And last year we did get the team of the year, well basically the second Monday, so it was Monday the 8th of January we got the team of the year. So in theory, in a week's time, we should have the first team of the year in packs. And usually, well, ages ago, back if you look at FIFA 14, 15, 16, EA would do defenders, midfielders, then forwards, and then they would do the whole team of the year in packs. But last year, they took everybody by surprise. Originally, they did the forwards on Monday. Those were in packs for two days, so 48 hours. On the Wednesday, they dropped the midfielders for again for 24 hours. The first day, they did the goalkeeper and the defenders. And then on the Friday, for I believe it was two days, or it might have actually been three days all the way to the Monday, they did the full team of the year in packs. So EA probably did this so everyone would blow their FIFA points on Monday for the forwards. And then by the end of the week, you'd have no money left in your bank account. So if you are looking to pick any team of the year players up in packs, usually it's really hard to pack the forwards or the midfielders. Most of the time, if I know people who have packed team of the years, it has been on the defenders and goalkeeper release or when the full team of the year is in packs. So that's when you get them. One way how you get them, of course, is packs. But I'm going to show you guys some ways to basically make it so you have packs with higher chance maybe to get team of the year cards and you don't have to spend any money. So you don't actually have that long left to do these. You want to be doing the 81 plus double guarantee SBC. So this one, you exchange your squad, you get two rare gold players, 81 rated or higher. So again, two rare players, it's gonna be that for team of the year and 81 rated or higher. So these SBCs, you just need 11 rare gold players. It will cost you about 8.5 thousand coins roughly depending on the price you paid for your player. So I'm going to fill one in now just quickly with some any old players in my club. So literally just shove 11 rare gold players from your club. What I recommend if you're trying to pick these cards up, just drop a bid on some of the players for like 650, 700 coins. So you're not actually paying too much per card. But you only have two days to complete these. So try and get a lot done. It might be a bit tedious filling in all the players. But once you have your squad, there we go. So you exchange all your players 
but these SBCs are probably the best chance you'll have. Imagine you do 100 of these, you're getting 200 rare gold players, 81 plus rated. So surely one of them would be a team of the year card. So I don't know, do some of those. But on the other hand, since like 90% of the team of the year are La Liga players, you could do these La Liga upgrade packs because this guarantees free La Liga players. So you think most La Liga players, say you look at the striker, you could get your Messi, Ronaldo, you've got Cruz, Iniesta, Modric, Ramos. All of those players are from La Liga. So you could do some La Liga upgrade packs. These ones, again, it's cheaper to do because they don't have to be rare gold players. But it doesn't guarantee you the two rare gold players 81 rated plus. But it does guarantee you three players from La Liga. So last year, I believe I did 100 of these La Liga upgrade packs. And I did not pack a single team of the year card. I packed some inform cards and some decent La Liga players. But I did not get any team of the year cards. So... I don't know, it's up to you guys really if you want to do the La Liga or the 81 plus double guarantee. Personally, if I'm going to be doing some, I will do the 81 plus one just because they didn't work out for me last year, the La Liga ones. So I'm going to go with the 81 plus double guarantee packs. Fingers crossed, I will get a team of the year card. What I might do, I will literally have an account with so many coins on it, literally get about 100, 200 of these SPC packs. And when team of the year is out, I could stream it if you guys would like. Go through all of these packs and fingers crossed, pack myself a blue card. Also, what a lot of people have been doing previously, which I should be doing, is saving your packs. So imagine you're going to get your Fut Champions rewards this week. You're going to get your Squad Battles rewards. Save those packs. Do not open them yet until Team of the Year. All you have to do is wait one week. So it's not very hard to wait. And I made the mistake. If you did the pre-order edition, you know you get those two premium gold packs every single week. You should have held on to those packs so you can open them when team of the year is out. I'll get them next week so I have two premium gold packs to spend there. And other packs you could get from doing FUT drafts. So the draft rewards you actually do get are pretty good. I don't really think it's worth paying with coins unless you're winning every single draft. But if you're thinking of spending FIFA points on team of the year, what you should do actually is load those FIFA points up now play fuck drafts, and then save all of the packs for when Team of the Year is out. Because doing that, you will get a lot more packs for the money you put in, especially if you're decent at the game. I'd say as long as you win about two matches on average per draft, it will be worth doing. It will take up some time, but say you're only going to add like 1,200 FIFA points, if you do four fuck drafts, that'd be a lot better than opening like three, four pack off the store and getting absolutely nothing. Along with Team of the Year, there will probably be a market crash and some specific SBCs EA, fingers crossed, will drop. So probably later this week, I'll do an updated video on investing guides, market crash, what you should do with your players, and some possible SBCs that we could be seeing during the Team of the Year period. I know some people are thinking there could be a Team of the Year guarantee SBC, but to be honest, I doubt it, unless that SBC is going to cost you like 2, 3, 4 million coins. So, who knows? If EA did that, that would be absolutely mad, but I doubt that many people would be able to do the SBC unless they made it an untradeable version, so then it could be a lot cheaper, but you could be stuck with like your untradeable Marcelo or someone you don't even want in your squad. But that is about it. Team of the Year, fingers crossed, is next week. EA haven't actually tweeted anything to confirm it, but we know the squad is confirmed, and off every other year, it's basically come out next week or will be the week after that, so... Hopefully EA can give us some good content for them. Daily uploads will be kicking off 2018. We're going to get on the grind. I want to actually, I feel like I want to start streaming. However, I don't really have too much time because I've got exams like mock stuff. Last year of sick form as well. So I'm not too sure if you will get streamed, but I'll try to do daily uploads every single day. So expect a video every day and maybe even some double uploads some days because we're grinding to hit 100k as soon as possible and then hopefully 200k by the end of the year. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't show